Hey everyone and welcome back to DIY with Melissa. I of course am Melissa and I'm here with a fun tutorial for you yet again. Today we are going to delve into the world of Canva. I don't know if you've tried it before but if you haven't now's the time to do it. It opens up your crafting possibilities way more than what is available on Cricut and there's a lot on Cricut so you can only imagine but if you're looking for something in particular that you can't find in Cricut then the next best place to look for me is always Canva and I hope the same will go for you as well so let's head right into it we're going to do two designs on Canva and bring them into Cricut so you can learn how to go about doing that we are at the computer and we're going to get this tutorial started once in Canva you do have to create an account and it can be a basic account. You don't have to sign up for Pro right away. Um, but Pro, of course, does open up some other creating possibilities. Um, but the free version actually is amazing as well. So I know a lot of times there's different programs that are not great when they're free. But this one in particular is pretty good when it's free. So this one I'm using right now is the free version. I do have the Pro version. But I created the free version with um, one of my other email addresses just to be able to show you um, what you can do with the free version. When you open up Canva, it looks like this. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but I promise you it does get easier the more you use it. I do use this a lot to look for different elements that I might not be able to find in Design Space. And sometimes for other reasons, depending on what I'm doing, I print then cut um or sorry just a printed job i can't i may not be able to do that in cricut because of the size limitations but i can create a bigger print in canva and print it like i normally would from word or wherever the case may be when in canva i always start off with create a design this is what it looks like when you are in canva i believe it actually looks like this the for you is defaulted there are some options here on what you can do. I do use sometimes the social media portion of this to create social media posts, um, but mostly it's the custom size that I'll go for. When we click on custom size, you'll see that it is set or it's defaulted to pixels. So I would go ahead and change that to inches. And it's totally up to you what you want to do. Remember, we are just pushing this over to Cricut so you don't have to be too fussy on the sizing because the sizing can be fixed in Cricut when that time comes. So we'll create it as an 11 by eight and a half sheet. When you get into this area here, there are some options on the left hand side. It defaults to the design option which gives you some op um, design options for different things. Uh, you will see there are some logo ideas that you may find in here. There are some website ideas. There's just different things that you can um, manipulate and create it for your own projects. Like this thank you for your order is absolutely gorgeous and we make a really cute um, tag. Anyhow. I'm going to get rid of this for now because that's not what I'm doing, but I am actually going to use that to show you the next step. The next option is elements. Elements is where you'll find different images, just like how you would in images in design space. You can search for them. Um, sometimes some show up here. Depending on what you search for, it will allow you to scroll and scroll and scroll. See all will show you all the um, elements that are available. So if I click on see all under graphics, then all of these come up. And it's really cute because they've now grouped them together. That wasn't like that before, as far as I know. Of course, your recently used ones are up here and you have shapes here. And the other thing you have are these grids or frames that you can put photos into and mock-ups can also be done in here. I actually really like the mock-ups option. It's really good when you're trying to sell products, um, not having to make them all, you can create a mock-up for it. The next option is your text box. You can add a text box into your canvas. 
or you can use some of the font combinations that are available on Canva. The one thing I have not said yet, and I should have, well, I kind of mentioned it earlier, is Canva Pro. Anything that has a crown next to it, like so, means that it is only available if you upgrade your plan to Canva Pro. I think you can also pay for it um, as a one-time use, or I'm not really sure how that works, but it says... You can pay $1.39 Canadian for a pro content license. So um, there is some licensing things that you can review through Canva. Note that I'm showing you this tutorial as a personal use tutorial. Um, if you want to sell any of the graphics that are in here for your projects, uh, please ensure you review the, co um, the content license prior to doing so. The next um option that i use a lot is of course the upload option you can upload photographs or um even video files into canva to do various things so video files to create projects or sorry photos to create projects or video files to edit you can also edit in here i have not tried that yet but that is also an option that's available through canva and i believe you need to have canva pro as well to be able to edit um, your videos in Canva. So for now, I'm going to go back to my text. I already have the text box in here, as you can see. And of course, you would just click on that to get it in there. And I'm going to type in mom. To make this bigger, you can either grab the corner and drag it out, or there's the font size up here that you can also use to make it bigger or smaller. The next option would be the font. It is defaulted to their font, um, very similar to what we see in, in um, Design Space. And all the font options are on the side here. If you scroll, you can literally scroll for days. Again, just note all the grayed out fonts mean that you need the Canva Pro license to be able to use them. They also keep um, track of your recently used fonts up on the top here. And you can also upload a font. You can upload from um, defont.com or another site like that or Creative Fabrica or another site like that. Whatever the case may be, you can definitely do that in here as well. Um, I just a note, Canva, if you are looking to get into sublimation and you want to print bigger projects, Canva will be your best friend for that. I also use it for that purpose as well, because as you know, Cricut, um, the sizing on Cricut is very limited. So this allows me to go bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a font for this. And I like this Ap Ap Aprila, I don't know how to say it, font. I am going to remove the O in mom and I want to add an element instead. One of the elements I wanted was a heart to replace the O. So you can search the word heart or I searched up mother heart and we can click on see all and all the heart options show up here. I'll search up heart instead and I'll click on see all and again same concept they all show up here anything with pro in it means that you need a pro license to be able to use it I'm going to go with this heart however if I'm not 100% in love with this heart if I click on the three dots on the side here and click on see more like this a slew of hearts show up that we can choose from so I think I'm going to go with this one here and add that in the middle of my project. Canva also has a way of showing you your center of your project. Um, not sure if you can see that, but right now I have those purple lines showing up. That means that this heart is centered evenly, evenly on the sheet, but on the entire sheet. I don't want it centered. I want it centered in between the words mom. Um, 
in between the letters M and M, just like so. So I'm just going to resize this down and make sure it's centered nicely. I am eyeballing it. Once that is complete, you can at this point group it if you'd like. That way it just gives you one piece. If you don't group it, then you have the number of pieces that you've started with, which in my case is two pieces. That's about it for that. You can, of course, add more text to it. Um, so something like that. If you wanted to create a mug, um, this would be really cute. The words would be cute. The font is really pretty, etc. Now. I want this to be cut out of vinyl, which of course I can't do through Canva because Canva does not have a cutting machine associated with it. So how I'm going to get this out of Canva and into Cricut is by clicking on the button share up here. And download is available here. There are some options to download. We do want to download it as a PNG. and. If you had Canva Pro, you could do it as a transparent background, but um, in this case, we are using the basic version of Canva, so we can't do it with a transparent background, but that's okay because Cricut allows us to make it a transparent background when we load it over there. So I'm gonna click on download. It will download and it would go to your downloads folder and we'll go into Cricut now. Once in Cricut, you're gonna hit upload, upload image. And you're going to browse to wherever that project was downloaded to. In my case, like I said, it's downloaded to my uh, downloads folder. I'm going to click on continue. And you can either use your cursor and click on the white space. And when doing so, you want to make sure you're getting the little bits in here as well. Just like so. Now that looks pretty good. You can do a single preview, single layer, just to see what it looks like. To make sure, especially that you've gotten all the little bits that you're supposed to. We'll hit apply and continue. This will be a single layer cut. And we're going to click on upload. And how gorgeous is that? Now we can resize it any which way we want. I put the grid lines on, you'll see that this heart is going to be cut with the in the middle out. Same with the letters, the little bits in the letters. And that's just one way how we can use Canva. So if you're not finding a font that you love in Cricut, I would pop over to Canva and see if you find it over there instead. We'll move on to the next one. As I mentioned, Canva has a lot of graphics that we can choose from. I did like this thank you one that said thank you for your order. That's not it. Here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a tag for this. So if you're selling anything and you want to put a little note in for your customers, this would be a great way to do this. So We have this wording here, which I adore so much. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the entire thank you portion and group it so it's one piece for me. I think this one looks good. I'm going to change the color. So the color changing will be up here. This is where you can go ahead and change your color to whatever color you want. If you want a gradient color, you can use that. It's really pretty. Um, and it's not only in the pro version, you can use it uh, in the free version. And make this a bit bigger and this a bit smaller. Now, as you can see, my wording is going to the back of my design and I don't, I want it to be on top. You have to bring your project together. Click on those three dots and click on layer. This time I can send to the back. The other option would be I click on the layer and click on position and we have a range to the back, like so. 
So it's really easy to get your project in the right location. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but when I move this around, my purple dotted line showing me the center is starting to show up, which means that my, my design is perfectly centered on the backing. And that looks really good. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to click on group. So now I can make this into a sticker in design space. So again, I'm going to click on share and I'm going to click on download. Same thing will be a PNG file and I'm going to click on download. We'll go to Cricut Design Space and click on upload. Upload your image. We'll continue. We want to remove this background because we don't need it. We just want the tag by itself like so apply and continue and in this case it's going to be a flat graphic because i want it to print exactly like this it's not a cut file and we can hit upload and there you have a gorgeous tag or sticker that you can create for your customers and that's about it for canva for now but no there is so much more that can be done in canva I have a fun project coming up and I'm actually going to show you all how I went about creating the wording the way I did. Um, we'll get into that in that video. Um, like I said, there are so many elements to choose from. Mother's Day is coming up. So if we click on or if we search Mother's Day, look at the most adorable projects that come up. We can make stickers from this. So the options come up and as I said, anything that doesn't have pro on it means that you can use it. So there's some cute elements in Canva that you can use for free that you can bring into Cricut to use. So it's just going to open up a world of opportunities for you. Look how adorable that one is. And there you have it. How simple was that? It's so much fun. There is so much to look through. You can spend hours searching through there, but you know, try and narrow it down. If you're doing a project for Mother's Day, get some ideas in your head what you're looking for and do those searches um, that way instead, because you can literally be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling for days. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. And of course, subscribe. Hope you have a fabulous week ahead. Take care. Bye now.